Well, Sean Lang here with Pro Wrestling Enforcer, and make sure to we give a warm welcome to Steve Tortorello, Principal Steve from Warrior Wrestling on the show. Of course, Warrior Wrestling celebrates his 16th show. Sweet 16 is uh, tomorrow night, of course, featuring Brett the Hitman Hart, and we're very excited to have Steve Tortorello on the show. Very excited to talk about this, and I know, Steve, you had a big week coming back. We're sure your mind's been on this show the whole week, right? You know, I will say this. So uh, for, for your listeners and your viewers, I got married a couple of weeks ago. I was in Hawaii for my honeymoon. And there were definitely some moments where I was hiking up a volcano for an hour and a half where I'm just like, oh, how, what are our match layouts going to be? Maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do that. So it did creep into my mind when I wasn't relaxing in tropical paradise. Definitely. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful time, man. I'm glad you had a, a wonderful time with your wife. Thank you so much. Yeah, we were excited. It was great. And, and now we're back to the real world and back to some wrestling. Definitely. Um, how excited are you to, you know, put on this card? It's another stack card for Warrior Wrestling. You guys are always, you know, raising the bar each time and bringing like the best talent from independent, get, get a lot of wrestlers and, uh, you know, get the wrestlers that the fans want to see. Yeah, so we we always try to pride ourselves on putting on incredible cards with with not only great matches but great characters and like you said the people that, that the fans want to see. And that's what we think we've done for tomorrow, fingers crossed. You know, we've got a couple of matches on there that are are going to be as good as any match you're going to see in the ring from any company in the world, right? We've got Trey Miguel and Gresham, we've got the Lucha match, we've got Davey and Ace, we've got Shelley and KC, we've got Tankman and Alexander, right? We've got some matches there that we hope are, are going to rival anything you're going to see on Dynamite or Bound for Glory or WWE or ROH. Not that we're saying we're better by any chance or by any means, but we think that the, the combination of guys from all those places that we've put together is pretty special. And so if you're a wrestling fan that loves action and you love excitement and you love quality matches, we want to be the promotion for you. Definitely. And I'm glad you had it the week before Bound for Glory so you could include some of those wrestlers too. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, so, you know, we've got guys from all different girls from all different promotions yeah. and we're constantly asking those different places, hey, when are you running your big shows? Because we try to plan our show maybe two or three months out and we want to know, we don't want to be competing against Bound for Glory. This this week, it so happened that uh, Dynamite had to get moved to Saturday. And by that point, we had already committed with Bret Hart, so we couldn't really move things around. Uh, but we don't want to be bumping up against, and the right. same goes for the other indie shows too we take a look at when are all the local independents running we don't want to be running against them so um it's something that we definitely take into mind we try to be uh the only game in town when we're able to be definitely and uh one of the big returns of course is moose coming back he hasn't been a warrior for a while yeah we love moose last time we saw him he was against suicide in the stadium series last year and they had a hell of a match and definitely. moose likes wrestling for us and he tells us this because we tell him to go out there and be moose be, do everything you want to do, be who you want to be, and go out there and crush it. And that's what he does every time he walks through the curtain for us. So we're excited. Moose and Sam Adonis. Yeah, I know. I'm excited. That one just jumps out at me. You know, obviously you have Alex Shelley, Casey Navarro. Casey Navarro, you know, he's really coming to his own. He the medallion. Is. Yeah, we think he's the future, man. Honestly, they're, they're, you know, there's a reason he won the medallion and the, the Get My Shot Invitational. There's a reason he's been booked on all of our shows this year. This is a guy who really, really has all the tools. And it's going to be really cool to see as he puts them all together. You know, he had a great match with Cole Radrick, a great match with Dante Martin, and a great showing in the GMSI. <laughs> now it's time, bless you, now it's time for you to go one-on-one -on -one with one of the all-time greats. And let's see yes. where he really stands. Yeah, definitely. And he did release a promo video for that. Everybody can check out the War Wrestling YouTube channel. I'm sure you're excited to see, you know, what these two bring. It's going to be exciting. Adrenaline filled, you know, I, I think they're, they're both going to go, go ape. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be sick. And then obviously you got the Davey Richards is on the card as well against Ace Austin. That's, you know, a really fun match. I'm sure you were happy with the match that you got out. We, we all saw Davey Richards performing with Jonathan Gresham. Yeah. I mean, it truly is. We are so blessed. Davey Richards is the best of his generation. And, 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 and I feel weird saying that because it's not like he's 60. Um, he retired. He's back. And now he's the best in this new generation as well. Yes. I mean, there are very few in the world who are as good at this as Davey Richards. And somehow he's better after being retired. He's better than he used to be. Um, yeah. we, we, if you, we are really embarrassed. It's an embarrassment of riches. 
the amount of cool talent that we get to work with. Oh yeah, definitely. And Ace Austin, of course, true veteran. I mean, he was just the main event of Impact Wrestling uh, this yeah. past week as well. So he's been X Division champion. He's another guy like Casey Navarro, where sooner rather than later, the future is going to belong to these guys, and yeah. it's just a matter of when they finally take it. Definitely, man. Yeah, I appreciate uh, you know you know actually getting a chance to talk to him you know not too long ago and. And hear what he has to say about what he does to keep in shape and his diet and stuff. He recommends DDP yoga. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people, a lot of people do. A lot of people believe in that. And that that means something. Definitely. Yeah. And you can tell, man. I mean, he's he's just in great shape. Him and David Richards, that's just gonna be, you know, one heck of a battle. Yeah. I mean, it's it's just gonna be those are two guys who have tree trunks for legs. They're gonna throw some kicks. And, you know, that's, you know, the thing we joked about when we booked the match is somebody's head's getting kicked into the third row. This is going to be, and I know you're an MMA guy. Yeah. This is going to yeah. be a striker's paradise. Not mm-hmm. only they can book Matt wrestle too, but these guys are going to throw some kicks and I'm excited to see that. Definitely. I love it when they're, they, they actually take the time and they throw them authentically. Like it looks like they, they went to a gym and they practiced them. Yeah. They, I mean, they know what they're doing. These guys are not play fighters. These guys are fighters who happen to be professional wrestlers. Yes, for sure. And then we've, you know, you've just got so many great matches, you know, one right after another, Calvin Tankman and, and uh, Walking Weapon. That's going to be a heck of a fight. I mean, that's a heavyweight fight right there, a Haas fight. That is, that's our slobber now. That's yeah. the fight where guys are getting punched in the jaw and suplexed on their head. That's going to be a fight. Yes, for sure. And that's going to be one excellent contest. Obviously, Josh Alexander is going on to Bound for Glory against Christian Cage. So, this is the, you know, one great fight he's going to have on a, you know, one stop on the road to the Bound for Glory. Well, yeah. And that Absolutely. Bound for Glory main event's going to be incredible as well. So, yes. I mean, again, Josh Alexander's stock is going up. We, we are very lucky to have guys who are at the apex and guys who are coming to the top of the mountain. Definitely. I mean, he's just, you know, every time he, he delivers the matches, you know, the Canadian strong style, he lives and breathes by that, you know? <laughs> It's well, and speaking joke. of being a proud Canadian, he is yeah. so excited. I've chatted with him a little bit to be on the card with Bret Hart. I think that okay. is going to be a special thing for uh, for Josh Alexander. Definitely. And talk about Bret Hart for a bit. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, he is back in the day, one of the best, if not the best ever, to lace up those boots. I mean, his, his work still holds up even to this day. You know, his match with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Is still one of the greatest of all, maybe the greatest WrestleMania match of all time. I mean, he's got to be, you got to be very happy to have Brett the Hitman Hart join you, you guys for yeah. Lord of Wrestling. He's not only, so, so Brett is interesting, right? So, a, a, you're correct. He's in ring one of the best of all time. And many would argue the best of all time, really. It's a discussion of Brett and Ric Flair. You know, there's a couple of great Japanese wrestlers up there, but, but from an American, from a WWF centric American viewer, from 80, and even on WWF Centric, because Flair didn't have nine tenths of his good work, wasn't in the WWF. But if, from an American, North American focused wrestling fan from 85 to the present, Ric Flair and Bret Hart are, are probably the best. And, and so you have Bret, who's one of the best in the ring. And he also has such a distinctive look and style uh, from the 90s that anyone who's, I'm, I'm 36, 35, gonna be 36, anyone who's my age grew up with the pink and black. Right, like yes. you play that one opening guitar, everyone knows Brett's coming. Right, it's just uh, uh, the the glasses. Right, anybody sees any any shades without frames, you immediately think Bret Hart. Yes. So, so Bret Hart has an iconic style and look to him that just defines '90s WWF, and he also happens to be one of the greatest in ring wrestlers of all time. The guy's got a lot of great things going on for him. Yes. I mean, it's going to be very special. I'm sure the fans are going to have, you know, one hell of a time, you know, meeting their hero, Bret Hart. And I'm sure you have people coming from all over to want to meet Bret Hart as well. I mean, I don't know how many appearances he does, uh, if he does them that often. I don't think he hasn't very done them. Yeah. You know, he did uh, StarCast in Vegas in 2019. He did um, something on the East Coast a little while back, a few weeks back in Boston. But as far as at a wrestling related thing, I think you got to go back to Starcase, uh, Starcast 2019 in Vegas. And right, before right. then, it was a, a while earlier. Definitely. Well, we're excited, you know, 
see Brett the Hitman Hart. I'm sure he's going to come out and hopefully address the crowd too in the ring. And, you know, can't wait to hear what he has to say. Very one of the great minds, you know, of the business. Very opinionated, but I appreciate that opinion. You know, I appreciate someone, you know, who's a sharpshooter, no pun intended. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. He's honest, right? Brett yes. has never pulled a punch. He's pulled every punch he's thrown in the ring. He's never pulled a punch in life. And that's what makes him, you know, you know what you get with Brett. There's no BS. Definitely. I'm sure he's excited to see all the great talent at Warrior Wrestling, too. I'm sure he's, you know, he's yeah. breaking down the matches in his head. He can't help but do that, right? <laughs> right. Like, well, like you, you know, like we were saying a minute ago with Josh, so many of these wrestlers, they've emulated Brett. I mean, look yeah. at the styles of the guys on our show. Josh Alexander. Jonathan Gresham, Trey Miguel. These are not, and we've also got like Lucha Flyers, but the, the, the heart of this show is people that would have watched Brett and emulated Brett's style. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And then people watching MLW, they'll be familiar with Aramis. He's going to be a part of the show as well, defending the title yeah. against the Lucha title, Lucha Championship. Man, this is such a great championship too. I, I love, this is starting to be one of the, the better championships. I mean, the world championship is obviously number one, but just such a great idea. Well, and look at the matches. So there have been three matches. The match to crown the champion, which was insane that Aramis won. The match against his mentor, Daga. And then a very different match against Mr. Iguana. And then now he's got a triple threat with Ray Horace from ROH and Lucha Underground and Gringo Loco from MLW. So our hope with this, it's very similar to what our hope is with Trey Miguel uh, with the main title which is we want to throw at them completely different styles of challenges and yes. see what do they, what can they overcome or what might ultimately overcome them. And by the time a person's run as one of our champions is done, we want to be able to look back on it and say that was a very complete run. They did all different types of things. They grew as a performer and the title got better because they held it. Definitely. And Gringo Loco, you know, Chicago got in a mix. Got to be excited for that one. Ray Horace, you know, who's now in Ring of Honor as well. I believe he's still there. Yep. Another exciting guy. And yeah, these are like, you know, matches, one of a kind matches. You can't see anywhere else. That's really what Warrior brings every time. That's what we're trying. You know, we always want to put together guys and girls from different promotions who you're like, gosh, you know, what if this person fought that person? And like Davey Richards and Ace Austin, when we were talking to Davey about that match, as we talked about earlier, we went over a lot of different um, opponents for Davey. We knew we had Davey on the show. We're like, who do you want to face? Who, 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 do you, who are you going to be challenged by? And here's some people on our list. Here's some people on your list. And Ace Austin was the top of both of the lists. Davey said, you know, I've had so many people tell me, I need to see you face Ace Austin somewhere. And we're doing it. So you've got yes. Impact versus MLW, Impact versus Impact alumni, even with Davey Richards. And that's what we try to do with these different matches. If, if you're a fan of all the rest. And you're like, if I could see that guy from here face that guy from there, that's what we try to give you. For sure. And one of the matches did have a change, if you want to announce that. I know it was pretty Yeah, the, the mixed tag match, Yoya got a concussion this past weekend, so he's out of commission for now. Um, so thoughts and prayers to him. Hopefully he heals up and he's safe. But Janai Kai is going to have top-notch Jason Hotch with her as, she, as they take on Pretty Proper. That will be another very MMA-influenced match. Mm -hmm. Janai Kai is a martial artist. Lady Frost, a martial artist. Victor Benjamin of Pretty Proper, he's been on Josh Barnett's Blood Sports doing some MMA-influenced wrestling matches. And so there's going to be a lot of strikes there as well and a lot of speed too. Yeah, one of the one of the top matches that I'm uh, definitely looking forward to in that one. It's going to be really yeah, exciting. Janai Kai is a sleeper. If you don't know her yet, you will by the time the show is over. Yeah, she had a great match with, um, it was Billy Starks at the uh, last show, GCW. Yep. Their pay-per-view, their, their big event, I think it was the, um, the the War Games. Yep. So that was, yeah, that was really one of the exciting matches I've seen her. And yeah, she's been coming up and you get to see more and more of the, uh, more exposure for them. So hopefully this will definitely uh, be a big match for her as well. Yeah. We're excited. Definitely. And, and I just talk about, you know, how people can be a part of Warrior Wrestling. Of course, you know, this Saturday, which is tomorrow night, you know, make sure to tell them about the, the Fan Fest because that's really special what you guys are doing for the Sweet 16. Yeah. So one of the things that make, has made Warrior unique from the beginning is we wanted to make it feel like a festival. We it, Yes, we want it to be a good show, but mm -hmm. we want you to feel like you're around, like, like it's a party while you're there. And right. so we added the Fan Fest.
Fest and, and people have loved it. And so we've done it now all 15 times and this will be our 16th time. So we're doing it as a supersized three hour fan fest and you get to meet all of the wrestlers and included in your ticket for the fan fest. You get a picture and an autograph with every single wrestler. There's merch, there's vendors, there's podcasts set up. Um, there's going to be some contests and some cool giveaways. There's just a lot of cool stuff that is, is going on. So that's what we want it to be. We want it to be a celebration of wrestling. So not only do we hope you come to the show, we hope you come to the Fan Fest and get to know the other fans and talk to other people and really just soak the whole thing in. Yeah, definitely. I think everybody will be uh, very pleased for that as well. Cause that's just like you said, a big celebration, a big gathering, all the talent will be there and they'll be able to uh, meet with the fans. And obviously people want to meet Brett the Hitman Hart as well. So that's huge. <laughs> Yeah, well, they, I mean, how often uh, there are some collectors out there who have met Brett in the past, et cetera, but it's not often that you get to meet Brett Hart, see him step foot in a wrestling ring and, and, and talk to the crowd from wrestling ring, which he will do tomorrow as part of the show, and then be there with Brett while you're watching the most state of the art wrestling there is right now. Think yes. about this like a generational mind meld. You're there with Brett watching the best in ring wrestling that there is right now. Yeah, that, that's an unbelievable combination. And, you know, I myself couldn't think of a better way for you know, for a fan to get that experience. Obviously, Warrior Wrestling, warriorwrestling.net for, for tickets, still available. Everybody check it out. And then you guys are also going to be broadcasting as well. Yep, it's on Fight TV, so people can can watch it on Fight. Um, if they're not going to be there live, you know, either way is fine. Obviously, there's nothing that beats in-person wrestling. But if you're not in the area or don't feel safe being in an indoor event, please watch us on Fight. It's going to be a really, really fun show. I can promise you that. Definitely, you know, and I know people that do are interested in warrior wrestling, even from Canada. They they follow you guys. I've told them to follow you guys, and they want to come out and see it. <laughs> Yeah, well, and that's great. You know, when we get the breakdown numbers from Fight, every Warrior show, we've got people watching us from the United Kingdom, from Canada, from Japan, from Germany. We've had wow. Singapore. We've had Korea. We've had some in, um, uh, gosh, North Africa. So, so there are people out there who love wrestling and find a way to watch a little American indie wrestling show. Definitely. Well, Steve, I thank you again for being on Warrior Wrestling. You know, enjoy uh, the rest of your evening. We'll see you uh, tomorrow night. Everybody check it out. WarriorWrestling.net. Pro Wrestling Enforcer will be there as well. So, you know, come and say hi if you see us. And, uh, you know, make sure to check out WarriorWrestling.net, Warrior Wrestling YouTube channel. There's some uh, great original content out there. You guys have got the, uh, I, I love, by the way, the uh, in-ring stuff you guys do. Oh, the, 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 the matches, the ringside films? The ringside matches, that's what I meant, yeah. Oh, that's, dude, that's it, it, it creates such a different element of it. And, and we were talking about Richards earlier. There's a Davey Richards-Jonathan Gresham match. It's up on our YouTube that's shot in the ringside style that you can feel every kick. You can feel every bump. And, 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 and I just, I highly recommend, if you're a fan of strong style or technical style, go on our YouTube page, check out that match. Yeah, definitely. Everybody should. That, that's one That's one heck of a match. It's, you know, one heck of a highlight reel, if even that. I think it's the entire match, actually. So it's not. The whole thing is up there. Yep. I, yeah. So, anyway, and I love the way you do that. Hopefully, we'll see more of that uh, coming forward. But, yeah, thank you again, uh, Principal Steve Tortorello. If you see been to Ward Wrestling Show, he's the one that you may not see him, but you've heard his voice. <laughs> <laughs> and he always announces the next match is coming up. And uh, we've had some interaction between you and someone we won't name. <laughs> oh, God, no. He's hopefully still flattened behind the bleachers somewhere. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But if you didn't know, this is him. This is uh, Principal Steve. And, you know, make sure to check out Warrior Wrestling, guys. Everybody check it out. Thank Appreciate you, Sean. You. And we'll see everybody at the next show. Anytime. Take care, Steve. Take care. Have a good one.